And the Bible says if we humble ourselves, we'll be exalted. We don't exalt ourselves. We humble ourselves. And I'm not talking about some kind of false humility. Say, well, we're just an old worm. We're not even worth living. God don't even know us or he don't even see us or whatever. He pays no attention to us. No, no, that's false humility. Well, I am not worthy, and we're not. But Jesus Christ has made us worthy to be called the children of God, to become the sons of God. He has made us worthy. But we need to humble ourselves and say, it's only through him. Praise God. It's only through him that we have become the sons of God and that we are God's children through him and not with a false humility that says, well, I'm nothing. That's not good. God thought you were something worth dying for. He thought you were something worth dying for because he sent his only begotten son. And he suffered as a human being in this earth. He suffered. He went to the cross. He suffered. He paid a, a great price for us, for you. So why wouldn't we give him our all in all? Why would we not acknowledge him in all our ways and trust in him? Those who trust in the Lord acknowledge Him in all of our ways. But you know what? Again, it's our choice. Proverbs says there's long life. We can extend our life and benefits by doing some things. Some says that we can do things to shorten our life. To take away from our life. To leave this world young. Ecclesiastes says, Why well, be foolish? It says, Be not o much over wicked. Be not over much wicked. Neither be thou foolish. I'm quoting the King James Version. Why should I, why should thy die before thy time? It says, Why should you die before your time? A lot of people says now, well, I just believe now when, when your time's up, you're going to leave here no matter what. Well, the Bible says that we can be foolish and die before our time. Be foolish. God wants us to live out our life on planet Earth. He wants, to, he wants us to live long. He wants His will carried out in this earth. And people is all He's got to carry out his will the Holy Spirit working through people God has planned it that way he's designed it that way that the Holy Spirit work through people just like he did Jesus and carry out the Father's will here on earth the disciples asked Jesus to teach them to pray and they prayed thy kingdom come thy will be done talking to the Father Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, God wants his will to be done on earth just as it is in heaven. How is it in heaven? His will is being done in heaven. How about the crime right in heaven? Is there any crime in heaven? Mm -mm. No. Is people having a problem with cancer and AIDS and heart problems and stuff like that in heaven? Mm -mm. No. Is little children dying and being abused and being aborted in heaven? No. No. Because why? Because God's will is being done there. And see, people think that God is just in control of everything on the earth. 
Everything that happens, God's in control. I beg your pardon. He's not. People are in control of the earth. The Bible says the heavens is the Lord, but the earth has he given to men. And he did. And you know what man did in the Garden of Eden? Turned it over to Satan. The Bible says Satan is the God of this world. So God's people are the only people that carries out God's will in the earth, that he wants to carry out his will through if we would submit to him and let his will be done. And if not for God's people, I believe this earth would have done been gone been wiped clean 